brought to you by Colgate. Ongoing, if you'd like to get yourself access into owning uh, one of the affordable housing units, that's how you get into it. Star 832 hash or ke. What's Colgate doing, Do Colgate is saying that you, even while you're improving your smile with toothpaste, you can put a smile on the face of 150,000 Kenyans who would be affected positively by sinking 30 water wells around the country. How can you do that, you wonder? Walk into any Naivas today, purchase a tube of Colgate toothpaste, and the proceeds from that purchase goes towards making sure that 150,000 people can have access to clean water. Clean water does so many things at the same time. And it can all happen when you buy some toothpaste. Indeed it is. Jeremiah Kioni is the Secretary General of Jubilee Party. He's our guest this morning. Morning, Uh Morning, morning, Alik. Karibu sana to Kenya's biggest conversation again. Asante uh, tunashukuru. How are things going in Nairobi and Daragua? Uh, Nairobi more because Daragua kuna enye. Unajua ukinyi mwakula. Yeah. Uzianze kumanga manga kwa enyewe. Unahama. <laughs> Unaodokea wegini wafanya kazi. <laughs> so, but all is well. I was there yesterday. Mm. Um, it's dry. We expected it to be a little wet. So, mm. not looking very well. Good for those who are expecting uh, clubs from Mosang Harvest. Mm. Uh, Woga iko mingi. Naona watu wamekaa wanastuka kila mtu sijui ni nini. I don't know whether you've seen people. Uh, by the roadside when a major road accident have, have, has occurred. What wana kaga na mna ikado ya barabara. Mm. They talk in whispers. Mm. That's what I saw in Daragua yesterday. I saw it in Laikipia because I went there. So they see you, they do that? Uh, not quite me, but uh, uh, maybe in, if that is me they are seeing, then I, I must also confess that I could be part of the problem. But mm. uh, that's the kind of situation I... I witnessed there, but anyway, I went all the way to Laikipia. I went to look for my Najenga at his house also, Jana. Nikakuta pia uko, even the ladies were so scared. They hear motor vehicle and they want to dash under the trees. Um, that could be now me because I was the one with the vehicle. So mm. um, that is uh, something perhaps outside what you're asking for. But what wako sawa in Afrani, ile sawa unasema iku sawa kwa sababu how are you? Even when things are really mm. tough. But bottom line, Kenya is hurting. Things are and tough. People, everybody is agreeing. And things are very, very tough. Let's talk about that shortly. Even as you are asking me. By the way, I should also say that early, that mm. uh, my going to those places yesterday was again undercover because I could not allow my phones were off. Uh, for the reason that uh, uh, we also have uh, another recent phenomena in our uh, on our roads, um, and they are called Subarus. Mm. So, like now, I've seen a Subaru uh, parked out there when I was uh, coming in, I, a white one. Ni kaulisa dereva ni kama wana juu asema ni mtu tu amekuja ni waapa pegine. Mm. So you can never know whether it belongs here or it belongs to others, but it belongs to. Uh, the Kenyan loads, mm. what it is doing could be very different from be, what you think. It be different from what you know. What you know. So I was, um, I, and I tell you, not uh, as a joyful person, but that is this, what we have been doing for the last uh, more than now two months. Uh, I, I, I haven't used these phones from Wednesday until, um, when is the last week, when is the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I started using these things on Saturday when I said buy and buy. This is to avoid being tracked. Yeah, because uh, the data protection, the data that is available everywhere is being used uh, for all manner of reasons, including tracking us mm. and chasing us around. That's the country we are in. Where? Nine months. Ah, yeah. City, mm. the day is proverb. Yes. Tom Zuri. Oh, no, this is a beautiful <laughs> one. If the palm mm -hmm. of the hand itches, it signifies the coming of great luck. Wow, that we have it in our own language also. If you, <laughs> if you, if you do this, uh -huh. somebody says you are likely to have money, mm -hmm. 
Uh, and uh, <laughs> there is nothing that manifests good luck like, like money. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And a lot of it, yeah. that's a lot of good luck. Mm. Yes. Palm of your hand reaches. Mm. Yeah. Would you? Mm. Good luck is yeah. coming. But it's not itched for a while. It's good to say. <laughs> it <that>. is coming. <laughs> it hasn't itched. It hasn't for itched for a while, by mm. the way. It is coming. <laughs> Yeah. The each will come. Mm. This proverb is from Lesotho. Yes, it is. All right. Mm. So, Mushimiwa, these things that you're saying that have been happening in the country yes. over the last uh, couple of months, mm. of, co of course, you as the leadership of Azimio have been calling and organizing the demonstrations. Last week, you organized the three days of demonstration. The previous week was a day, and you've been calling them regularly. And the government then has also said... No, 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 no. We need to make sure that these demonstrations are peaceful. They don't lead to anarchy. So you're saying that now you are living in fear. Mm. For the reason that we have Article 37 of our constitution, mm. that we had gotten used to uh, reading and thinking that uh, the happening of it is a kawaida thing, mm. that if you want to say no to something, nobody will come hunting you down or even uh, putting you behold, behind closed bars, mm. uh, planting bangi on you, uh, or even firearms on you. By the way, for those who are uh, younger and perhaps uh, new in our country, um, I didn't say anything to, <laughs> to, do. <laughs> to do, but... Um, uh, this is what happened to happen, used to happen in 1980s, mm. 88, in the in the 80s and 90s. Yes, because we had um, we had the special branch then, and then we had something called Mwa Kenya. Mm. And uh, what would happen is that the special branch would hunt you down if they, but, and uh, they would call anything, any conversation, discussion, seditious. And this studio, by the way, by the definition of the 80s and 90s, is a seditious. Uh, studio because mm. what I'm saying you could not say it then mm. uh, and it uh, unfortunately we seem to be heading uh, there what, what I'm saying is that uh, article that seven uh, guarantees us that room to if you're unhappy go out in the streets and say you're unhappy mm. come outside the doors of uh, uh, standard media and say that you have not treated us well and we see it in other developed worlds. When you were going around the world looking for uh, the constitution that we wanted, I remember we went to Brazil. Mm. And outside parliament, they have a picketing corner. And there are police officers there. If you have an issue that you want to tell the members of parliament, you go there with your sufuria and you bang it throughout the day. It's As expected. they walk in and they walk out, mm -hmm. they hear you and remember of your issue. Mm. And they should go in and legislate. They should not just ignore you. In that place has even police officers who help you and make sure that you are actually safe. Mm -hmm. Nobody should stop you from doing it. Mm -hmm. So there are examples all over the world. If you go to France, this picketing and uh, whatever, they do it 24 hours. Forget mm -hmm. about here when we say it is this to 6 to 6. Then they do it around the clock. And the work of the police officers is to ensure that uh, there is peace uh, that is maintained. Because... Mm -hmm. When there is a lioness uh, uh, group of that nature, you should be looking out to ensure that uh, everything happens in peace. But what have we seen? What have we seen? I mean... Intolerance. To, beyond. Mm. The shooting of Dennis here at Murorongo, down the road three kilometers from where we are, mm. is what brought the, the, the chaos that you saw at Murorongo. Mm. A young man called Dennis, mm. shot, dead. Who said, why did you shoot? The young man who was shot at uh, Mali, mm. heading to the university to do ICT and help the mother. She, he had promised the mother, I will buy you a plot and I will put up a house. Mm. Single mother. Mm. The young man walking with the mother to say, just to walk out of the comp. And pop, dead. Kisumu, the chief points a guy called Dennis. At who you do you know? He's shot dead. Mm. When people are seeing what do you expect people to do? How do you expect Kenyans to react? It will be the same. I mean, it's common sense. You yeah. can jump, go to the top of the roof of any house and say it is Azimio causing the violence. Mm. But wait until a child is shot dead in your own, outside your own compound or outside your own area. And the same thing is happening. And it is happening all over. Look at what they were doing two days ago. Removing people from houses and crowbarring them.
Those people are not people demonstrating. The fact that you may have been part of demonstration two days ago does not allow any police officer to come to your house with Narugu and crowbar you. What happens though? What is this? This that's, is that's a, causing this all this really things? a collapse. It's a, actually we are living in a situation where the, the people in the regime have mm. suspended the constitution. You are given a bail and you are not released. You are now you start being just taken from one police station to the other. Mm. An order is pro given in court for habeas corpus, produce the body of Jenga, minor Jenga, and he's not produced. Mm. They, they still hold him. This guy, member of parliament for Ibakasi, Babu, is released and he arrested within the judiciary. Right there. You know something that was not happening for the last 20 years? It has not this happened before. This is what ha used to happen during uh, the Kanu regime. You would be arrested within the courts. We did away with that kind of thing. So even the judiciary has caved in. Nobody has said a word. Mm -hmm. You see people going to, they were in court last week looking for their family members. I want to ask Ndu a question. What's that thing that they say in French? Mm. Qu'est-ce plus change, plus change, plus, plus change? Plus ça change, plus la même chose. Plus ça change, plus la même chose. No, 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 no. The more things change, the more they remain they the look same. They the same. The more things change, the more they remain I'm the so, same. I'm almost tempted to go to my French also. When you go to Nikubaya. Nikubaya. When no, we say that things say have this. changed. But I mean, what I mean, you mean, I, yes. because you've said all those examples that you've, you've given, they sound like deja vu. Like we've been here before. Not long ago. Not 20 years. Not the 80s and, and the early 90s, as you say but two, three years ago, months ago. And that's why I'm asking, what's happening to the state? Is it those who are the state the same? We're just changing things. We took it for granted. Remaining the same? We when Malala, Senator Malala, Senator Lelegue, Senator Langatu are being arrested in the middle of the night and being transported from Kitengela to Kakamega in the middle of the night, and those who are in government now are complaining, those who are in government then, like yourselves, had a reason and no. you could explain it away. I didn't. At least we didn't hear condemnation. Uh, well, I didn't condemn. I must condemn. I when Miguna yes, Miguna Miguna was being done the same mm. and being, you know, held in communicado, habeas corpus, no matter, court order after court order and Miguna Miguna not and being... being manhandled out of the country. Being it was not right then. The country. It is not right now. So it things was have not, not changed. Late, right? Things had changed. Let me tell you. At least then, maybe the people who were in power had the fear of the constitution they had helped in making and supported. Today, we have people in power who actually said no to this constitution. So they are doing those things with the, with the feeling that this is how things may have, should have been from the beginning. I mean, during all that time, at least we never had somebody plant a bangi. We never saw vehicles calling uh, Sudanese number plates being used to chase you down. But I'm saying, I'm not saying it was light then. It wasn't even then. Mm. It is not right now. This is not the country we want to be in. Mm. The difficulties that we are going through are not likely to go by just change of government. We want people to ensure that any government that comes to power is kept on check. That was the essence of the, of this the, constitution. the, the, the rights, the, free, the, the rights that we have in our constitution. Mm. Well, Shimo, you've cited because, several examples, if I yes. can just come, you've cited several examples of things that have been going on over the last few days, weeks, right? Um, this is all coming from somewhere. It's not, it's not in a vacuum. It's not out of a whirlwind. What has made these things happen? I'm not asking for a justification of the action. I'm asking for the reason behind why we've seen the proliferation of these things. One your of, understanding. One of the things is that our members of parliament have dropped the guard. Why we have three arms of government is so that there, there is that balance of balance and checks. It is parliament that should have been able to come strong and tell the executive, hold it. That is beyond. We are not going to pass this budget. We are going to file a motion of impeachment. The tools of checking an excessive executive exist and are available to parliament. Mm. Parliament abandoned us from day one. 
I have come here counting the number of members of parliament from the legion I come from who participating, participated in badmouthing the former head of state when he was in power and who are now participating in the activities that we have seen, including the stealing of goats mm. that happened at uh, Northrad and including the harassing of our grandmother, our mother to some of us. That started five years ago, six years ago now. It has continued. They are in office now. They are abating it. They are, I have counted there are 66 of them. All these are people from Mount Kenya because the hell of where we are started in Mount Kenya. Mm. It was picked as an easy point. Nayo Nyungu Mount Kenya. It is now being served to all Kenyans. Mwishima, I'm sorry. I have to ask And it is a very painful thing. I need to... I, ni, to ni you, I can man. see it's paining you also. Let me hear. <laughs> I have to ask again. Yes, mm. We have seen certain things. The arrest of people, the shooting of others, the deaths of others. Are you telling me that the inaction of members of parliament has a direct correlation to the things that we have seen happening on the streets. That because members of parliament passed a budget, which as you've said, is going to then hamper the lives of Kenyans negatively. That is why we see the violence and action on the streets, the deaths of people, the arrests of others, the, you know, re-arrests of others. Can, is, is there a line that we can draw between the two? Or is there something else that has happened? And remind between me... the passing of the budget yes. and these other things that we are seeing, what happened in the middle here that would catalyze this action? And remind me here also to uh, add the, 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 the lack of fear of the judiciary, the thinking that you're in bed with the judiciary, that whatever you do, at ukieda makamani, we will play around with it. We, we saw a magistrate do what used to be done under the Kanu regime. You are taken to court. You are re-arrested within the corridors. No word. Police officers are allowed into the judiciary. While we already know that the judiciary has a roster of police officers who are assigned to them. Others cannot come and do anything within without that. So it's not just that. I am just, just uh, throwing in the issue of the... Because now, sure. the, the final call is in the courts. One magistrate said when uh, Azimio people are being arrested, sometimes we can say, and stop bringing these young people here before us for no good reason. He actually told, cautioned the police officers. That was the very initial time. Yes, he said, Stop using the courts to harass these people. That seems now to have left the stage and a set of officers are being, uh, now uh, magistrates are being affiliated for this system. Like it was, there was an, a magistrate who was waiting for somebody to be arrested in Kiabu even after the hours. That is something we did away with the constitution. But going back, Ariro, to what you have said, it's good to be uh, honest about this. The difficult, the cost of living started a while ago. But this is the six members of parliament. What did they do? Instead of agreeing to say, yes, there is a problem. Mm. When COVID comes, it hits you and it hits everybody else. We need to readjust as a country. They said, uh-uh, it's not COVID. Ni who you? Marisa Wende. Chida ni wewe uko kwa office, Marisa Wende. We say the Ukraine war, the Russian thing, is going to hit the whole world. Why don't we... We think of how we to approach this. Is it banana banana? Ni Marisa wende na kya mugu i bibili ni kwe kachini unga ina kujia chini. So what did you do to Kenyans? And this I was told yesterday by people from Laikipia and Nyandaro. Because I told them, "I kitu, I kina waramba muri jirete a nyinyo nyenye." A young man told me, and I actually on up I sympathize. He said, "Lakin mu eshimu atu seme ukweli." Yare mambo abayo tuli aidiwa itafanyika. It was impossible to resist. Mm. So we were lied to, and we had to believe there were such nice things for a, servo, a person who is suffering. So as leaders, when you become dishonest, you give false promises mm. in a desperate situation like we are in in this country. You must take the responsibility. But are you... Those 
in the regime today before you I vanish. are a leader must take responsibility yeah. and i before i do this let me also say this because i might forget ukiogea na wa kenya wao wengine hata wale walipiga kura it is not a question of if it's a question of when When? Do I get another opportunity to vote and I'll throw all these people home? So we are, so we are back to Maliza Wende. It's not mm-hmm. it's a question of it's not a question of if it's a question of when and they are certain of one thing I want to ask that it you. is coming 1927 and is it 1927 or 2027? 2027. 2027. 2027. But they are saying If it can come sooner. If it, uh, there is a way of it coming earlier, we will do what is expected of us So now. we are in the same cycle of Maliza Wende. Which is, uh, I don't want to say Maliza Wende. That cycle yeah, of Maliza. Yeah, your cycle si ya Maliza Wende. Hii ni ya kusema ulikuja hapa kwa makosa. Enda saa hii hata usimalize. Ulikuja na makosa. So we are in the same one. Mm. If you were the same people who were telling us two years ago the war on Ukraine, the global oil prices and the global challenges, economic challenges are caused for this situation that we are in but you are not willing to accept it the same to continue the same story today those who were in the opposition then saying we do not want to hear anything about the war in ukraine and now they are telling us about the war in ukraine we have just switched sides they it's went. the same as no man you no, no, came no. or you've just we've gone into second a half you're just scoring on the other side and they're scoring the other side there is a difference what is the difference they have gone beyond what had we done we had brought in subsidies which when before the elections we you had brought subsidies. subsidies two weeks to the elections even before for example like the issue of electricity was way way before the issue of the the the, the, the unga subsidy which the the electricity subsidy, subsidy. The 15%. and even before the 15% it is there by the way the subsidy on electricity started even with kibaki you need to understand how it is that we ended up with the rural electrification program okay how is it that we are subsidizing the infrastructural uh, costs it was to deal with these things did we see and a rise that, in the cost of power sorry in the jubilee administration yes but not to the level that we are in today well it got to a bad level such that the president had to appoint a special team to look into the causes of the rising cost of power yes. we need the same thing done That is why you are in government. You are not there to go and rabba rabba. Mm. But has that report Na serikali? Yes. Serikali kazi ya serikali sio kurabba rabba sio sukali. Sio sukali. Hapana, <laughs> it is hard work. <laughs> and it does not need you to be on top of vehicles permanently. Like now I've seen people they are not one year in office na naona huko amekalia magari vinga. My question again before Instead we go of to sitting the, behind their again, desk and giving us solutions. We need to do the you break. are not allowing me to finish. Are you who could rules ni marize? Are you taking that responsibility as leaders today for your own utterances last year? You who are now in opposition What but you were firmly in government then mm. and those who are now in government and were firmly in opposition then cost of living is the war in ukraine affecting our cost of living today or no, is it not me i believe it but you say you told me i'm stupid stop lying to kenyans uh-huh. covid has nothing to do with this you are the one who said it but today so what why are you, are you recruiting me into your problem sort to, them out now you have the why are you wearing a sufuria jeremiah kion because the sufuria is empty why is and it, it is not just empty today if you are laid off the loan that you are paying you will be will be recorded today where we middle class but you told us Goja to stop wacheni kupayuka na kubweka bweka yes bei ya unga imepanda sababu ya ukraine yes now you are wearing a sufuria and you are bweka bwekering about the same bei ya unga na kata kwaza ni kweli imepanda na wao walisaidia lakini wewe kwa sababu ni mjauli ukasema sisi ni wajinga na even instead of sorting out the problem now you have come for my goats instead of sorting my problem now you have come to plant bangi in my house Instead of sorting the problems now you are now going for Uhuru sideward by these 66 kikuyus who mess this country mm. now what what I don't ban he what he to guess we must go home. <laughs> but let me say what I'm what I'm saying this is right and then we take a break listen to this we give subsidies they may not have worked or they may not have brought the cost of living down mm. but we cautioned it they have they came and removed all of them we were removing the payment of school fees because these are the things you do to a school fees kwa wazazi wachia wasubwana na chakula wacha wazazi watoto wakae chule zaidi siku hizi ni watoto wakae nyumbani zaidi na mzazi alipe school fees 
help with the cash transfer, the budget imekuja chini. This is how you intervene. And I'm telling you, instead of that, finance bill. This was the icing on the cake. They bring a, a, a finance bill ambayo ina, ina, inatua uchuru kwa mama wa chama na ule mama wa boda boda na ule mama wa mama boga. I, yo, that's where you we can't connect. And even before we do anything else, that finance bill must be removed from the table. It actually shows how contemptuous you are to Kenyans. Jeremiah Kioni, I, Secretary General of Jubilee Party, one of the leaders in Azimio, is our guest this morning. Time for that break. As we take the break, bomayangu.go.ke is the place to go to register for the affordable housing program and do yes. pre-owned pre -owned vehicle. vehicles. <laughs> There's a way to go about it. How many times have you said this one, no accident, this one, zero mileage? Okay. In the Mpia, in the land of Mombasa, Juzi. No. As CG said this morning, no. <laughs> Usually it's not the case. So, Automark, which is the pre owned subsidiary of CFAO Motors, is saying, come and let's have a conversation. What it is that you're looking for, you will find. You can come in, switch up after you've driven up, and then drive away with a pre owned vehicle that suits your needs, whether it's financial care, whether it's making sure that all your vehicle parts are working, even though it has been pre owned, and that the mileage that they tell you it has is actually what it has. They are in the business of pre owned vehicles. So get on down to Popper Road on the 4th and 5th of August, where there's an exhibition about the different vehicles that are up for grabs and how you can get onto the journey of a pre owned vehicle without the mess. Situation Room, Kenya's biggest conversation. Brought to you by Colgate. As we feed the brains of our little ones in school, the Standard Newspaper takes pride in knowing that we are making a mark in the growth of their minds through the Newspapers in Education program that steers them in the right direction. And we are proud of it. My experience with NIE, I can say that I have really benefited from that newspaper. The newspaper can help me with vocabulary and imaginative and creative writing. Uh, it helps in grammar and it's helpful, especially in English. It helps, like when you're writing, you don't write wrong spelling of words and wrong grammar, because grammar in English is very important. To adopt and sponsor a school class on the NIE program, it will only cost 14,400 shillings per term or 43,200 shillings per year. For more information, please contact Ronnie Ouma on 0720-809-823 or rouma at standardmedia.co.ke. Newspapers in education. Readers are leaders. Strong, healthy, friendly, supportive, happy, romantic. Game show. Powerful. macho kijui nachojilaumu mimi kwa nini nimefanya ujinga baka wao naajiliwa huko ndani ndio kitu ambacho mimi najutia kuna mambo fichi inafanyika hapa jikoni sio ha nataka kwenda kumuona mzee anaendeleaje yuko tu yuko kule chumbani kwake lakini si kawaida mzee kuwa chumbani saa hizi anapumzika hapa ni kwako haujui kama hii ni nyumba yangu huyu mzee ana siku mbili mpaka tatu amekwisha afu mimi ndo nitarithi hii nyumba oh umepanga kumuua sio sio kazi yangu sitaki kujua hii sio
Welcome to our Africa TV show. If she had our resources, she'd rather book the CEO of Mac Foundation, Senator Dr. Rasha Kelej. But everything's not going well. Stubborn child mama said. Because women uh, empowerment is achieved, the achieved the sustainable development. Our Africa TV show is about fashion and art with purpose. Situation Room. Kenya's biggest conversation. Brought to you by Colgate. This is wrong. In the previous government of Uhuru's, the one thing, there are, there are things that people mentioned, but the thing that stuck was that government's capacity to ignore court rulings and completely disregard court rulings. The court says this, they simply, it's like the court is talking to itself. Now, it may appear innocuous, but it sets things in motion. And we are seeing the culmination of it. Now, we have a government that you're now arguing is doing the same thing and going beyond. You see, this is now an outcome. The opportunity to do right when it is missed, the consequences that will follow are often beyond our control. There's a point at which you could have controlled it and set that path. I think of the problems we had in the Rift Valley with what we are calling now the tribal clashes. Are not, those things are not tribal clashes. The, and then there was nothing spontaneous about it. Those things were planned. That is my view. Mm. And that, they happened before they actually stopped in the first place. And we had the intelligence, we had the security. We, we, it's something that baffles me to date, how so many Kenyans could lose their lives, and yet all the security operators were in place. It's something that I find puzzling. Now, everything that we've dealt with, President, the former President Uhuru made an attempt that I found admirable. He apologized for 2008, apologized for the Wagala massacre. He at least attempted and came out and spoke out about it. Now, if we have history, a history of things that have happened in this country that have never really been dealt with, have never been sorted out, they don't go away. They're always lurking somewhere in the background. And they rear their heads in ways. We talked about the dungeons, the Nyan House dungeons of the Moi era. Did, did we ever have a truth and reconciliation moment where Kenyans came and talked about these things openly? Mm -hmm. I know people who are, who are compensated. I know them personally because some of them, I was in college with them, I was in university with them. But have we ever had an honest conversation? No, we haven't. Have we ever had a, an honest conversation about what happened in 2007, 2008? No, we haven't. So now we are heaping this burden on yet another one. Yes, Ukraine happened and all that happened. We understand all that. But what we're dealing with now has nothing to do with Ukraine. Uh, it, it has nothing to do with the price of oil. It has nothing to do with COVID. It has to do with what we are coming out into the open. Now, we have a moment where we can do the right thing and change and even have honest conversations about what is actually happening. If I was a young man in those 80s and those 90s. And everything that is happening for me, as you say correctly, it's deja vu. I, I'm looking, I'm saying, my, do you mean to tell me we've gone back to those horribly terrible days when one moment you have a friend, you know, people used to disappear in college. I mean, one moment yeah. you're with someone and they go to sleep, the next moment they're not there. Mm. It, it, it wasn't a pleasant thing. And we're saying we're back there again, but it didn't, it didn't start with this one. It started earlier with things that could have been dealt with for the government to feel that they are in a position to do exactly what they want the way they want it. There has to be a platform from which they are functioning. There is something that makes them believe they can do that. So you're saying that there's been no attempt at all to change? We have... Um, Token. We, 
We have token, yes. We have, um, we have been looking for peace at the expense of everything else. Mm. And I think we are now at a point of saying justice before peace. Justice before peace. Because, for example, and I want to say, for if we don't sort out mm. the electoral justice system, you will never sort out these issues. Any system that eventually produces a leader who can get to that point without any moral grounding, mm. to me, is one of the reasons why we are where we are. And I want to agree uh, uh, with what you have said. It is true that every time we try to resolve issues, we've never agreed to resolve all of them. Why? Because sometimes those who are helping us or leading that process of resolving those issues will be sorted out by the final correct solution. Yeah. So you don't allow that final correct solution. You allow a bit of it so that it can also uh, keep you going for a while. When we were dealing with our 2010 constitution, I remember we said if you ever face criminals uh, against human rights or if you, you are facing crimes, on, what did you say? Against humanity. Yes. You should never hold power. Yes. Then it comes you say, uh -uh, but these two guys, if we, don't, if we are not careful, they will be jailed. Mm. The country will die. So can we first of all sort out and look at, therefore, today, where are we? We are now back to crimes against humanity. What has happened in the last one, two weeks in this country is pure and simple genocide. It's massacre. And I want to say here, I also belong to the, to the hashtag, rules are Kenyans, stop massacring the rules. That has happened in the last three days. We in Azimio saw it coming in Sodu. When instead of what we are seeing, people chasing around one another with stones, young people came out with the bows and arrows and ambushed the other community, which was completely got off guard. And we said, this is another 207 in the making. Why is it happening? Because when it happened, what happened to those who caused it? Nothing. They still got away with it. And I agree, like we have said, and I have continued saying this from the, uh, the point of Azimio, mm. we may have, and I want to still go out here, because the amount of fear that is in Mount Kenya, in fact, the region that is holding us from this constitutional movement now is Mount Kenya. Fear of what? The fear I saw yesterday in mm. their eyes, mm. in their postures, is unbelievable. What fear fear of, what? of what? What are they and afraid of? And what are they saying? Mm. They also never thought that people can start being arrested. The Again. Way people are being arrested. They never thought that somebody can hide, a police officer in plain truth, can hide and shoot somebody just because you are. That fear has gripped, including those hardcore guys. And this is exactly what happened in the 80s. You start by instilling fear. Has the same fear. Then uh, take mm -hmm. over. The, the, issue of, the issue of uh, takeover, the issue of dictating to people and tell them what to do. Has the same and I want to say fear. this, I know what you want to ask before you, <laughs> you ask, let me say this. Uh. I want to give credit to something that was bad mouthed by these 66 members of parliament, among others. But they were the ones who took the lead. You remember Kitaereweka? The other one was Tanga Tanga. Yeah. That whole Tanga Tanga team is the one responsible for where we are. Mm. This issue of hardship, we can say, yes, it is slowed down the opposition. Mm. But I want to tell you, it, in the BBI, we had a lot of solutions to the issues that we are now suffering from today. If we had the BBI on the table, nobody would have said this is a company limited by chairs. Others are guests. If we had that BBI today, we would not be having the kids. I was seated yesterday. By the way, if you look at the, you may not have seen but I went to demonstrate something about the issue of school fees in the church I was in yesterday in Mount Kenya. Mm. And there was a child who was up to perhaps uh, mid in terms of height, mm. Nusu Yangu. Mm -hmm. Nikasema, uyu mtoto atasoma na mnagani. I picked the child. Mm. What horrified me is I had no struggle lifting the child above my head. Mm. And I had to, nikama karatasi. What does that tell you? Mm. Yes. Problem. 
mm. hungry not fed the mother may not be able to say it that way but to me as a leader i live very worried because you can tell hata huyu akipere kwa chule hata pata ile inasema so all these problem i was saying with so the issue of hardship was to help ameliorate some of these issues because the difficulties that we are in as a country are difficulties that we must face them all of us together kwa sababu hamna mtu ambaye anaweza kukuambia nikiweka hii biblia chini mambo itaenda chini hiyo uongo na ujinga ndio hatutaki i have to ask you to talk about ziko, lazima kila mmoja akubali tu aya now i'm going to question you ask, you ask about fear you said you talked about fear and that the people who are afraid of going back to an era that was you know turmoil for them and there's also the talk of getting back to a place whereby these things don't happen is this perhaps the same kind of fear that would grip a man like uhuru kenyatta that is dangerous it's not fear that is coming if they continue and i want to be uh, i want to say it here if they continue this thing about uhuru kenyatta they are going to see the things they've never seen from some of us huh? what does that mean you cannot do what you are doing to him we never did that to moi or kibaki You cannot go and harass mama again a 90 year old woman. You cannot tell us like they have told us that they are going to have a day to go and uh, defecate outside Ichaweri and I want to know the day so that we can also go and counter it. Wale wamesema wanaenda kukojoa. How would you counter defecation? We will, <laughs> we will counter it because we are saying we will not go with our pants down. Does this not perpetuate? <laughs> Sorry, so I am saying I'm going not... with you. I, sure, but I'm it, agreeing with you. I'm telling you the not, direction this regime has taken is not to help people at all to this country. Does it not perpetuate the same situation that you're saying must be avoided? Does it not perpetuate the things that you have just said? Which is that if they are going to continue, fire we're going fire. to counter and they will see things that they've never seen before. Lakini wewe jamani hata kusema ukweli. Hata hata Biblia inasema utakuja kukata kichwa yangu na nisiweke mkono. It says that revenge is the Lord. It's the same Bible. It's not revenge. It's self defense. Mheshimiwa. It's not revenge. It's self defense. Mheshimiwa where were you in 1992? 92 nilikuwa hapa when they hit Matiba and Matiba by the way. You know what Matiba said that 1992. Moi must go. Aliposema hivyo very few of us could re, could uh, uh, repeat the same phrase mm. but before that how long had it taken us for somebody to say moi must go more than 10 years it did not it has not taken us 8 months to say ruto must go how long did it take us to get moi out after that another 10 years it's not going to take us 10 years fortunately we have the constitution Mwishimu. but also we have we have the constitution moi, in two moi years. left If you ask me he left he finished his term yes and he left other presidents on this continent changed constitutions so that they could remain there for life he didn't he was a president one could have argued that he could have but, but before you know, that, I took it to 92 that, eh? remember 1992 yes. he was a president for life until we brought in cross uh, uh, yes. yes so we actually section forced 2a section yes. 2a yes. we cut his uh, presidents for life you see the point is a valid one mm. you can also cut five the years. reason why i brought 92 mm. was because mm. remember the period before then these brenton woods institutions who are now giving us money as though it's confetti in those days they aligned giving you money with good behavior you have to behave well ah yes uh, you remember that one thank you now you know these things that we're dealing with now these high costs brenton woods are the ones who brought it then now they've brought it here again Why are we not having this conversation that we have a president who doesn't really have much of a choice about these things? Those guys come with rules. You must raise this, you must raise this, you must raise this. They come with those rules. Yes, please. Hardship. Words of Uhuru. One of the things that why we needed hardship is to ensure that this country is not taken back to 1992. All those institutions were in Kenya trying to force hard towards where we are. We needed to come together as a country and tell them uh-uh tuko na shida lakini hiyo dawa and he said this and I'm, some of these things are privileged information i should not be talking about them but it is important to talk about them and that is why i would forever respect raya he said it in his own heart. and we are not looking by the way when we when i talk about hard check mm. because there are some idiots out there who will be running around saying that we are looking for hard checks we are not looking for hard check mm. in this one and i tell you why raya himself said why i agreed to work with uhuru is because he was able to put all these things 
before me where the country was going. And he also said, I cannot manage this country without you. The reality of this country is, where the Ruke Chini Jedani Amaji Utoke, E Kenya, E Kumarabiri. Now, for now, today, Raira Amoro Odinga Hapa, Amesumamia Kenya ya Marabiri, na hii Marabiri, hii ni 70. Hii ni 30. That's the reality. And it is not within the amount of that thing. Ujigonga. Uh -uh. It's the reality. And Uhuru says, it is the reality. He told Raira, I cannot run this country without you. But then Raira said, then what is your government going to start for? We came up with the nine issues that were there, including sorting out the issue of electoral justice and the rest. They were all put in BBI. What did the 66 together do? They ran around this country saying, Hadi Sheikh, ni Raira natafute wa kiti, ni Uhuru antaka kurudi kwa kiti. They are the cause of the mess we are in. Today now, they are overseeing, they are arresting our people indiscriminately. We are being chased here like rats. Sahia, Dr. Janang, was that? Are you sure you are going to leave the studio safe? Are you? Sit for the, I cannot keep hiding forever. Mm. You must come out. The lady I've given you a name. Mm. Ame nikubusha, ali nikubusha kaniambia, she's a young lady, ali nipivia simu wakani uza. Iyi, iyi, kimaadhi ya ripoenda kuipigania Kenya. Weren't there other Kenyans who are looking at him and looking at him like an idiot? How do you fight a msungu? Hauna, hauna buduki, hauna nini? That's young person mm. in the 20s. And, I, and he to, she told me, then a few of you have that opportunity now. Do it. Just have faith. Go and Wait. do it. Others will follow eventually. There are those who are not going to who will continue doubting You've it. said some things that are really profound. But there is something I want to, to allow what he has said. Mm. This finance bill that we was passed, was, was, there was a condition. Pass it, we give you money. He repeated, 140 billion shillings was given by IMF. And Ruto now says he's not borrowing. He has already got a 140. By the way, I have figures here. I can show you. Total amount of money borrowed to date for the last one month, 1.2 trillion. Every country, kidoki dogo iko. 1.2 trillion. He has borrowed more than any other person in the planet Earth in Kenya. Parliament and the role of and parliament. And the parliament is... iritolewa. Walisema, by the way, tumekuruhusu, we uwe ukieda tu, usiede sana, rakini, you don't need to keep coming back to us. But but this parliament is not behaving any different from the previous parliament that you served. At least the other ones, the other ones, they were, there was some bit of manners. Where? Some Where? little. No. Sijasema, apana gariya mina machobaya na mnaio nyinyi wote. <laughs> You remember I am also so now part of you. I'm not a member of Parliament. As a leader, yes, as a leader in that, that parliament. That, allow me to say this. For example, let me finish Wadai the question. himself, mm. Wadai, the minority leader, has told me, Atasi Wadai, even Atadi, Akina Uroch, they are saying, Iisi Atasi ile mulikuwa nae rastia. Hapa hakuna bunge, anything that is put on the table, there is what is, uh, if you want to cut it short the debate, is put the question. Put the question is always by the laziest and the most docile member of parliament. Do not want he has no clue of what is being debated. He is in a hurry to go and uh, make deals. And he has he, 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 he had no agenda as Mr. to why he was being erected. Now my question. The issue here, the chorus in this parliament is put the question. To get away. I start with it is not different from what we were seeing in the 12th parliament. But that does not does, much of a difference. Does that take away my right to criticize this? It, it does not. No, it does not. It does not. But I think you ought to start by just accepting that you don't have a moral authority to actually criticize. Oh, I do. I do. When you were chair I, of I a, a critical parliamentary committee, the one on oversight in the implementation of the constitution. CIOC. Right? Yes. All these things that you're talking about, electoral justice and all, some of those proposals that are brought by IEBC before your committee and the Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs stayed there for five years. Not the not ones that you are, the, CIOC. One, the ones that were, you were very keen on making sure that they get through Parliament very fast well, last year. Well, uh, let's amend the Political Parties Act mm -hmm. so that we can create you know new ways of having political parties. Let us shoot down any attempt by the IEBC to control campaign spending mm -hmm. and all. Previous proposals from the IEBC and others came and they just sat there. When you talk about even the kind of debates that we're having in parliament it was the same those who had the majority in parliament would shout down those who had the minority in parliament you want me to say something yes please. i say this one uh, i have said nusumkate we are not interested eh? now if you are talking about nusumkate you cannot have nusumkate with a mchawi <laughs> yes 
we we belong to the kaidia either to lead or sisi ni wachawi i'm focusing on so, the 12th parliament now we go now to the parliament thing i was the chairman of cioc yes. constitution implementation oversight committee yes. mm-hmm. my first point of call was chepkati i chose to become cioc chairman even when those in power including perhaps the head of state then was asking me why don't you become a chairman of a departmental committee said i am interested with reforms mm. I'm interested with these areas. Mutuli himself, I had a discussion in his, in his office, asking me, what is CIOC? Because it had been queued by the previous uh, parliament. Yep. I said, I understand what, why we put it in a constitution. I think we can do something with it. We put all those bills here on the table, including the ones on this uh, Maneno ya constituency boundaries, mm-hmm. and how we thought can, it could be sorted out ahead of time before we get into a crisis. Yep. Informal bills. Informal bills. Then what happened? Duare, Muturi, nothing could come on the floor. Those things you are saying, even quite a bit of what it was in BBI, <laughs> we had already put it in our own bills. Situation Room, Kenya's biggest conversation. Brought to you by Colgate.